Hey guys, welcome to Beyond the Barricade with my very special guest, Absolute Alvin the one, Alvarez. The one and only Absolute Alvin is here just for you. The one and only. <laughs> what inspired you to be a wrestler? Inspired me. I would say uh, Brett the Hitman Hart. He's by far my favorite wrestler of all time to watch. Um, if you watch him in 1997, which is by far his best year in wrestling, you'll watch the whole Stone Cold battle, you'll watch him, Canada versus US, just the way he had the fans from being a babyface in 96 to holding the title 95, 96 and losing it to Sean, then changing that whole thing to going against Austin. Like if you watch WrestleMania 13, it's so good because you have the double the double flip. Right. He goes heel, Stone Cold goes face, and just right. for him to be able to do that in such a quick time is amazing. He always has. So that right there is why I'm going to be Awesome, awesome. Who has been your toughest opponent you have ever faced in the ring? I want to say Stockade. Stockade. Has always been my toughest opponent. We've wrestled in different states. We've wrestled in different types of matches, tables matches. Mm -hmm. um, we've been like around the tri-state area and I've wrestled all the time. He's, he's hard to beat. I don't think I've ever beat him. Really? Never? I don't think I have. Yeah, I think he's like five or six, seven and all against me or something like that. But yeah, we wrestled in, 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 a, in a last man standing match in Delaware. That was fun. Um, he beat me there. Yeah, so he's my, my toughest opponent, but I'm going to get him. One day. Okay, that's not game. One day. Absolutely. One day. He's coming for you. I'm coming. All right, the most brutal ba match you've been in. Brutal. Um, it was at Ace Pro Wrestling. It was a four on four. It was the. Hollywood Enterprise. We had a little group called the Hollywood Enterprise, which has been big in Ace Pro Wrestling. I don't know if you've been following East Pro. Um, but they were, I was a part of that. Me, Azriel, Will Wyeth, and we really took up Michael Nando's in that group. And we had a four on four, and actually, uh, uh, Payne, Adam Payne, had a pizza cutter and actually gave me a nice little slice. I was Ouch. bleeding, blood was everywhere. Ouch. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that was by far my heart. That was a tough match. I saw, uh, <laughs> a thing you did where you were getting a massage and yeah, and Rick and Tom. Oh you my God! Oh, you skip next. Next. <laughs> <laughs> we'll skip right over that. We're gonna skip over that one. Excuse me, I was thinking about that. Oh my God! <laughs> Tell me about who Black Diamond is. <laughs> I don't know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, Black Diamond. All right, I'll break kayfabe for you. Black Diamond is my alter ego. Um, I'm a big Kiss fan which we plan on talking about later, because I can always talk about Kiss. Um, so I want to develop a character. Like a, uh, I didn't want to be my son. I want to be like a, a character. So I said, okay, I'll put Black Diamond. I wear the face paint anyway for Kiss. Might as well bring it to wrestling. So Black Diamond's my favorite Kiss song off the original album. So instead of doing the Paul Stanley star, I did the Black Diamond Diamond, and we're off to the races. A Mike Morgan idea from Ace, and I took it, and uh, it's still going strong. I haven't seen him in a while, so hopefully I'll see you soon. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you soon, Mr. Black Diamond over there. <laughs> All right, since we're going to talk about uh, Black Diamond, we can't not talk about Kiss. All right. So tell Let's me about, about your Kiss. love for Kiss. All right. And my personal favorite, freestyle music. Oh, freestyle music. All right, I hope you got the tape going. We're going to talk about this for hours. We're going to talk about this no, no, for a while, I'll guys. give you the shortened version. Okay. <laughs> uh, very good friend of mine, uh, Ron is his name. He's a huge Kiss fan. So one day he's go going, to, going to Kiss shows alone. So I'm like, Kiss is pretty. I heard about their, their, you know, their uh, shows and stuff, fireworks and, and the music. And... I was like, why not? I'm free Saturday, I'll go with you. So my first Kiss show was in Mohegan Sun, August 19th, 2010. Wow, uh, you got the date Yes, set, guys. yes, the cool. Hottest Show on Earth tour. And uh, yeah, it was amazing, and it got me hooked since day one. So I've been to about 35 Kiss shows. I've been to uh, six out of seven Kiss cruises. I actually go away in four weeks for Kiss Cruise 8. Um, now they have, have they're on the cruise? They're on the cruise. Kiss really? is on every cruise. They're legit on the, I get that question all the time, wow. so thank you for asking that question. <laughs> they're on the cruise every cruise they're on the cruise i've met them so many times it's such it's one hell of a show one hell of a show without a cruise it is great now freestyle get into, oh, freestyle man. let's get into freestyle because that's right. my personal favorite right all there. right when TKA. i was young yes tka uh, i'll uh, tell you the story about k7 listen to this all right okay so i got into freestyle music my cousins are about nine ten years old so in the late 80s i was only young maybe six or seven years old but i would hear the music so my cousin got me his tka louder than love album louder okay 1992 love. it came out tommy boy records all right, I wish I, had, so, wish I still had the tape. I, I've moved so many times, I don't have the tape anymore. But, um, and I got hooked on it, and I would listen to the tape over and over again. So now I started realizing that they're touring. Cynthia, you know, uh, Judy Torres, they're all touring together, so why not start going to these shows? So last show was at Coney Island Amphitheater, September 1st, and I bring my girlfriend, and I pull up, 
And next to me is K7. I know it's coming. Right? She asked me. She goes, she goes, she goes, oh, is that really cute? I go, yeah, it's K7. I knew right back. So I don't want to go be like a fan. I want right, to walk right. out to K7. Here, you know? So my girlfriend goes, and she goes up, she goes, oh, and just starts small talk about them. You know, you know she like, didn't know who it was. So he's like, oh, you know, where the party at, blah, blah. So we start talking and we get into it. So he gives me a free shirt. So I said, okay. So I post on Instagram. I have the shirt. If you go on my Instagram, at AJ for you to see. Uh, go on my Instagram, you'll see me holding, like, holding the case, the TK shirt. And K7 saw it on his Instagram. Uh-huh. And he reposted it. I'm like, this is awesome. So I messaged him on Instagram. I go, thank you for the shirt. Right. He gets back to me. He goes, anytime. He goes, by the way, I'm a big wrestling fan. Let me know when you when some of your matches are. I'll come to your matches. I go, what? Uh, I go, and he started following me. I go, K7 really? wants to see wow. me wrestling. I was so gracious. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you know, but uh, TKA, only mm-hmm. K7's only member of TKA that's performing now with TKA. Performer. It's Tony and Abby. Right. Those are the original TKA members. Right. So I actually messaged Abby mm-hmm. on on Instagram. I saw he was on Instagram, who's the original TK member, and I messaged him the whole thing. And he, he followed me too and said, "Hey, I'm a wrestling fan as well." <laughs> so two of the three original TKA that's members awesome. want to come see me. I floored by that. Thank you. So <laughs> that's much. like Thank a dream you. come true. That's right? amazing. So <laughs> that's my freestyle story. I go to all the shows. I'm actually going October 5th up in Fox. That's the next show. Fox freestyle Fox. explosion 2018. Freestyle Fox. explosion 2018. My yeah. personal TKA song was okay. uh, Maria. Maria, awesome. That's actually that a song. K7 song. Oh, really? And it wasn't for TKA. He didn't want it for TKA. He wanted it for K7 because when he first started K7, when it came out with the Swing Battle Swing album, uh-huh. he wanted it for that album. But then I think it was Sal Abatello when the free stuff for Fever Records said, you know, we need a song for this for the, the greatest release album. It was the greatest release album. Oh, That's what it was. It was a special track on the greatest release album released in 93. But we need an extra track. No wonder I can't him. find it under TKA. Yeah, can we have Maria? As a song, and then that's when Maria. So Maria's actually a K7 song. Really? You know Behind I, the scenes, little back act. I had the biggest crush on uh, Little Susie. Little Susie? She's performing too. She's in Ohio on the 10th. She's performing, Little Susie. Yeah, oh she's, she's still smoking. She's on Instagram. She's on yeah. Instagram. Little Susie. I gotta find her. She's still smoking. I gotta find she's like 38, Susie. still smoking hot. Oh my god. Woo. All right. Tell Easy. me about your time in NYWC and now in Victory Pro Wrestling, so close to your home. NYWC. Uh, that's where I trained. I trained under, under Alex Reynolds and Tony Nice. Um, that's where I got my start. You know, that's why I went to shows. I've been at NYWC for 15 years. Right. You know, I saw going to shows back in 2001 when they ran out, when they ran out of the Deer Park Community Center. So I was going to shows there, and close under mine, Tony Nice was training. So I right. said, let me just jump on. I started training there and doing shows. I had a great run there. I'm still there. Uh, right now I'm tagging um, with, uh, we have a little tag team uh, connection. Um, going on with uh, call him Coda now Coda he used to be General Romero and now he's going as Coda gotcha. so we have a nice tag team now there so I'm still there we're actually there next week on 29th um, and then I, I noticed that VPW is running here right here so I'm in Corum so I'm right here in Center, right here in Center Reach right. so I messaged Lenny he started taking over after Sean left and he was like hey man we need guys so come on down and it's like a dream come true so I'm here and that's yeah, awesome. it's great. It's, it's amazing. I know. I've been coming to the show for two or three years now, and uh, I I knew who you were, and I, I've seen you do some of your stuff, and yeah. I was like, why isn't this guy at Victory Pro Wrestling? Yeah, He's so good. Yeah, thank you. You know? And even K7 yeah. loves him. K7 like, follows K7. me. K7. <laughs> <laughs> and Angel. Oh, yeah, I did. The original A of TK. What kind of advice would you give anybody who wants to be a wrestler? All right. Uh, you gotta, you got to designate your time. Um, being a pro wrestler takes a lot of time. Like anything you want to be growing up, you have to put the work in. So find a reputable school um, that has guys going. I'm going to say right now, NYWC is a fantastic school. We have about seven guys that are either in WWE, Ring of Honor, New Japan, or uh, or yeah, or uh, Dragon Gate. So those guys train at NYWC in there there now. So uh, if I could give you a school, NYWC is a school to go to. You know, train, but you got to give your time. I would say. You have to be at every training. You have to be at every show. Um, I had to quit my job for wrestling. I had, miss, I had to miss yeah. weddings. Uh, I lost girlfriends because I couldn't go to family events because uh, I dated a Sicilian girl and family dinner night was Sunday, but training was Sunday. So I said, I can I never can, make it. So I, I can had, relate to that. Yeah, so <laughs> I've had to, you know, I lost girlfriends. I lost a lot of things for wrestling. You know, it does get easier. You're able to incorporate your life afterwards, but if you're starting training, you have to be at every training, you have to be at every show. That's You have to pay your dues, you have to put rings up, take rings down. I've done it, I've done it all. I still do it, you know, but time. You have to take your time and work your ass off, you know, and make your name. That's that's what advice that's I can it. say. You just keep going. Are you still close to your trainers? I am. I am. I talk to him all the time. I'm actually really good friends with him, so I still talk to him all the time. And Alex I haven't seen in a while, but I see him here and there. He trains at Creative Pro. 
So, uh, yeah, still very close to my trainers. Uh, I always ask them questions. I'm always, when Tony's on the island, I always, hey, man, you know, what can I do to get my name out there? What can I do? He always tells me, go, he's going to be great advice because he's there, you know, so he's the Absolutely. perfect guy to go to, you know. So I always talk to him whenever he's here or on the phone. I'll call him if I have a question, I'll call him, you know. Um, so, yeah, still very close. Even the guys in WNWC, still very close, too, so. That's yeah. awesome. I see that you train at the Bulls Gym over Mill Island. Yes. <laughs> yes. I see your posts. Another thing, when, when Nice is there, he's like, hey, let's go do legs. I'm like, it always ends with abs. As you can see, I struggle. He's the king, and he always kills me with abs because we only have to do abs. <laughs> so, yeah, I train with him too. So, we go, yeah, we go to the gym, and he kills me, and I cry, and he laughs and poses in the mirror, and I'm like, I want to die because he kills me. <laughs> but, yeah, so I train at Golds, yeah. Okay, last question. All right, shoot. What does the future hold for absolute Alvin Alvin? The future. Uh, it's a very bright future. Um, I'm getting my name out there. You know, I've had a couple NXT agents uh, email me and say, uh, we're hiring only the best guys in the world, the best wrestlers in the world. So get your name out there and message us in a year. So that's pretty much where I'm at. I'm getting my name out there, trying to do things here, things in uh, Limitless up in Maine. Uh, I've been debuting for a lot of new companies, so I'm just getting my name out there on social media, getting a big social media presence, and just pushing everything, you know, and stuffing it in people's faces. And hopefully a year from now, you know, William Regal will hear my name and say, let's get this dude to try out there. Let's get this guy down to the performance center. So. See you team up with Bison. Yeah, which is huge. <laughs> I actually went to TV by some. We did extra work. Oh, really? And I had a tryout for WWE match, a uh, dark match before SmackDown with Bison. Really? Yeah, so that's, that's, how, I met, that's how I met Bison. Yeah, it's been All right, fun. that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you for joining us Absolutely. on Beyond the thank Barricade. You. Oh, thank and, you for uh, having me. Absolutely. We'll see you guys soon. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter at AJ4U2C. Follow Mr. Boom. Absolute Out. There it is.